the Friday Sports Riot on SportstownChicago.com. What's up, Ryan? Hey, what's up? This is the Friday Sports Riot. I'm Ryan Hoppy. I'm Ryan Stuppridge. If you want to call the show and ask Jason Gotch a question, it's 630-403-5200. It's 630-403-5200. And Ryan, who do we have on the show? We have Jason Gotch. What's up, Jason? How you doing, fellas? We are doing good. Now, Jason, real quick, what is your take on this nice tropical weather outside right now? <laughs> what, about an hour of tropical weather? It got nice from like 3 to 4 o'clock where I'm at. It's cloudy again. And now right. it's going to be in the 30s for another week. It is absolutely miserable, fellas. But uh, it's amazing. Everything's relative. So when you walk outside and it's 50 degrees for about an hour with sun, you really think you're in South Florida or in Southern California because it's right. been such a bad winter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how's your March Madness bracket looking so far? Is it looking good? It's not looking too bad because uh, in this tournament, I-, I didn't really like a lot of underdogs. And other than Mercer, uh, we haven't seen too many underdogs to do very well. I mean, yeah, you get your 12 seeds that win occasionally, but I don't consider those upsets. I'm talking about 13 and below. So I, I actually went with my Final Four. I had uh, three number one seeds in there and then a number two Villanova. So I okay. kind of was a chalk player this time around. Maybe maybe some would say that's gutless, but that's actually what I thought would happen. I just I don't see it from the mid majors like I've seen it in past years, at least this time around. So not too bad as a lot of the favorites have been doing well. But we really won't know until we get in that round of thirty two and round of sixteen. Right. Uh yesterday Dayton upset Ohio State. Uh were you surprised by this upset or could you see it starting to come? No, that that's one. You know, that's one of those. Thad Mott and Ohio State. They won't play Dayton. Anybody who knows a lot about Ohio basketball knows Dayton's got a pretty decent history. They're not Ohio State, but they're not a patsy either. So when they get a chance in an NCAA tournament to play a team like Ohio State, that really the Buckeyes couldn't score this year. That was their big Achilles heel. We hear how great Aaron Kraft is as a passer and all that kind of stuff, but the Buckeyes as a team couldn't score. So. They were going to have to do it with defense. Dayton's a pretty talented squad. They hung around. and No, that one really didn't surprise me. I mean, probably more motivation there even for Dayton than Ohio State. I know it's a tournament game, but you never get to play the big brother in state. You finally do, and you knock them off. So that one didn't surprise me too much. What is your take on um, Aaron Kraft overall as a player? Um, he's a very good college player. I you know everybody's sick of guys like Dan Dockage talking nonstop about Aaron Kraft. And, you know, I get sick of hearing about Aaron Kraft, too. College player, excellent college player. I mean, but at the next level, I don't see how it translates his, his skills. I, I, I mean, again, a guy who I think will go down as a great college player, maybe he'll go in Europe, but he's not one of the best of all time, don't get me wrong, or even the best of his generation. But he was a solid guy. I mean, he made more of his talent than I think he really had. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes even I get sick of the overkill. Uh, last night there was three really good games as St. Louis had a miraculous comeback and Texas won at the buzzer and San Diego State uh, had to beat New Mexico State in overtime. Uh, out of those three games uh, specifically, which one was your favorite to watch? Oh, the Texas game. Yeah. Because th- that one was where, you know, Arizona State was down big. They came back, they took the lead, and, and then it's amazing how – when a Texas team shoots as bad as they did in the last minute of that game, fellas, and one guy shoots an air ball from the corner, rebound, guy gets it and puts it in, right. and then that last shot is a complete brick. The game should have went to overtime. Look what I found underneath. It, it, you can't even fault Arizona State for that because when the shooting's that bad, you can't even plan where the rebound's going to go. It's just a free-for-all. So uh, that was an up-and-down game. I mean, it made it. both teams made it in the 80s. I, I would say uh, that was probably my favorite game of those three that you mentioned. And now, what is your take on this Harvard team? As the last two years, they have gotten a win in the second round. How far do you see them going this year? Well, they got a tough matchup this coming round. I mean, they're, they're going to be taking on Michigan State. I think that's going to be a real tough matchup for them. I think they probably get bounced in the next round. I mean, they, they had a matchup in that first round game where they were able to pull it off because, you know, they, play, they were able to play another team uh, that couldn't score very well in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's another. All these teams in the tournament, there's a few of them out there that just they didn't score the ball very well. They haven't yeah. fared very well so far. And I, I mentioned earlier, you know, we had that situation with Ohio State. We've got we had it with Cincinnati too. Good defensive teams, but if you can't score this time of year, we always hear about defense, but you got to be able to score a little bit too. So they had a favorable matchup with Cincy, but uh, I I don't really like Michigan State that much like everybody else does. But I, I think they're going to get by Harvard. I think it ends tomorrow. What is your take on Creighton and Doug McDermott as a player? 
Doug McDermott, he's an interesting guy. He's not Aaron Kraft where I don't think he'll be successful at the next level. People are, are very torn on him. Uh, does he have the speed necessary and the quickness to play at the next level? I think time will tell on that. But as far as college players go, uh, another guy who really made the most of it, he, he can score great. It's just that I don't think Creighton has enough even with him to get to the Final Four. No disrespect to uh, Doug McDermott. He's probably the best player. I, if I had to vote for a Naismith Award winner this year, I would vote for him. But I, I still don't see them getting to the Final Four. I, I think they probably get bounced in the Sweet 16. If they don't get bounced there, I think they get bounced in the Final Eight by Arizona. Um, and I thought it was a very good point you made about Michigan State, how uh, maybe uh, you don't have them going as far as a lot of other people. I have them losing to Virginia in the Sweet 16. I don't know about you. Um, well, I actually had them going out to Cincinnati. Okay. And and Cincinnati kind of, you know, screwed me there because, again, they couldn't <laughs> score. But yeah. Michigan State, you know what, this group, it's amazing. Tom Izzo is an amazing coach. We all know that, how mm-hmm. well he gets teams into, you know, the Final Four and the championship game and all that kind of stuff and how well he does in March. But I, I've watched a lot of Michigan State this year. You've had the injury. They're finally healthy, I know that. But I think they peaked in the Big Ten tournament. There's just something about this group that I'm not necessarily sure that they're a Tom Izzo group. I don't know how much he likes coaching these guys, just from the the way they played much of the season. I know a lot of it has to do with injuries, but I just get the feeling that they peaked in the Big Ten tournament. Maybe I'll be wrong, but, yeah, I could definitely see them losing to Virginia. I mean, their bracket is a lot more favorable than some, but... I, I could see that. Heck, I'm the same guy picked them losing to Cincinnati, so uh, I can't criticize the Virginia pick. I think that's actually a pretty good pick. And now, what is your take on Duke losing to Mercer today in, in the upset? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked me that one, fellas, because I've said this for years about Duke, and this goes yeah. back really almost 10 years now. With the exception of the year that they had Brian Zubek and they won the championship, and, and Coach K started playing him after he got healthy, you know, midway through that 2009 2010 season. And I, I think he was the difference when they won the title that year because they actually had an inside game. Uh, other than that, the last 10 years, Duke doesn't have any inside game. And they, again, today, there's just jacking up jump shots and three pointers. I mean, as great as Coach K is, how does he not see this that at some time? you are going to have to have an inside threat where the threes aren't falling and your bailout is you dump it to somebody in the post or a big guy who can hit a short jump shot. And I think that's what happened again today. They were just shooting nonstop from the perimeter. They played an athletic Mercer team that was better than most people think. I mean, they, they lost the last couple of years to Florida Gulf Coast in the, their conference tournament. We know what Florida Gulf Coast did last year getting to the Sweet 16. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's one of those things where Duke, until you get an inside game, I think they're susceptible to this happening, and it happened again today. Uh, do you think that Louisville fans should be a little worried over uh, um, after Louisville had to squeak out a win against Manhattan, or uh, was that just like a flaw? No, Louisville didn't play anybody the second half of the season. That American Conference was not very good. We saw Cincinnati lose. I mean, everybody's talking about Louisville. They are the defending champions. They got a few guys back from that team. But I have Louisville losing to uh, Wichita State in my uh, Sweet 16 round, and I wouldn't be too confident in the Cardinals. I know everybody's on that bandwagon. I'm one of the few people on Wichita State's bandwagon. I really strongly believe that Wichita State will bounce the Louisville out of the tournament. I think Wichita State's the most underrated team in the tournament. I really do. Nobody's giving them any respect. I'm not saying they're going to win the title, but I, I think they got a great shot to get to the Final Four, and I think they're a lot better team than people are giving them credit for. So I think Louisville's going to lose to Wichita State. That's a good point. And now with Shaka Smart as the coach of VCU, how far do you think they can make it this year? Do you think they'll have a nice run? Um, no, I, I don't actually, I don't think so. That That's a team that a lot of people are on, too. I'm not convinced that this is their year. I mean, I know what Chaka Smart's a very good coach, and I'm not trying to take anything away from him. But I look at that team, and I, I don't see what I saw a few years ago. And when they stunned the world, then you look back at how they were able to be successful in that tournament. What was it, 2011, fellas, where they, they made it all the way to the Final Four. Right. Actually, you know, I picked Stephen F. Austin as a 12th seed as an upset in that game. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Oh, wow. But VCU is another one of those teams. They don't score that well. And in this and in this tournament, you've got to be able to score a little bit. And Stephen F. Austin won a ton of games this year. I know. Or they lose two games. I know it's a smaller conference and all that kind of stuff. But when people always say, you know, oh, you know, you got to look at the smaller conference teams and don't play anybody like Wichita State. Well, if it was that easy to only lose two games or go undefeated, everybody would be doing it every year, and not many people do. Uh, now, another game that's going to be really close, and that's earlier, or, and that's later on tonight, is Kansas State and Kentucky. Now, I am Kansas State winning in an upset, in somewhat of an upset. Um, 
Do you think uh, Kentucky will win that game? I actually picked Kentucky again. I know I'm hitting on the same theme, but <laughs> Kansas State and Bruce Weber, they have a hard time scoring the ball. Yeah. Kentucky's got a lot of talent. Sure, that, that's a pick em. I mean, let's face it, when it's an 8-9 game like that. Kentucky, I, I talked about Wichita State being the most underrated team this year. Kentucky might be the biggest bunch of underachievers this season. Everybody, that them is a, you know, a sure Final Four pick, and they lost 10 games already. Um, a coin toss game, I think Kentucky wins, but regardless... I think whoever wins that game loses to Wichita State in the second round. I, I agree with that, too. Uh, now, before we let you go, where can we find your work online? Oh, absolutely. You can hear me in the Chicago area, yahoosportsradio.com. I'm on Yahoo Sports Radio. You can also hear me uh, on the weekends regularly on the game, the new sports station in town, 87.7 FM. See me on Sports Talk Live about once a week. That's David Kaplan's show on Comcast Sportsnet yep. Chicago. And you can always follow me on Twitter, at Jason Gotch, if you want some tournament stuff. Okay, thanks for coming on the show, Jason. We'd love to have you on again. Thank you, Jason. Anytime, fellas. Have a good weekend and have a good rest of the show. Thank you, too. too. Thanks. Bye. And that was Jason Gotch of (laughs) 87.7 The Game and Yahoo Sports Radio syndicated and Sports Talk Live. Yeah, I've seen him on Sports Talk Live. It's a good show. I. That's actually a show that like a lot of people don't talk about. Like a lot of people don't really know about. It's a really good show, actually. Anything that Sports Center airs. Yeah, it, I, I, it's definitely a better alternative than Sports Center, <laughs> especially because it's about Chicago sports and in Chicago. So, all right, Ryan, we're gonna come back and wrap everything up next on the Friday Sports Riot. Hang on, the Friday Sports Riot on SportstownChicago.com.